हेलो टू ऑल होप सो यू ऑल आर वेल टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अ फाइलम दैट इज नॉन एज द हेमी कॉर्डेटा एंड मैनी पीपल आर हैविंग द कन्फ्यूजन दैट वेदर टू एड द हेमी कॉर्डेटा इन द नॉन कॉर्डेट्स और द कॉर्डेट्स ओके सो सी दैट दिस हेमी कॉर्डेटा इज ऑल्सो कॉर्ड इज स्टोमो कॉर्डेटा विद इन अ कपल ऑफ मिनट्स यू विल बी एबल टू नो दैट वाई दे आर कॉल्ड एज स्टोमो कॉर्डेट्स right and why they are called as hemi chordates hemi means half chordates they are not fully chordates all right and stomo chordata why they are called stomo chordata i will say you just now now there was a scientist whose name was hymen hymen in the year 1959 kept them in non chordata basically earlier they were included as a subphylum in chordata earlier hemi chordata was considered as a subphylum of chordata but now in the year 1959 hymen placed them in a separate phylum under the non chordata means it it must be very much clear that now hemi chordata has been included as a separate phylum in the non chordata fine so it has been clear now that it has been included in non chordata fine now there is always a confusion that whether to treat them as chordata or non chordata the reason is that a notochord like structure see try to understand it the organisms which have the notochord are treated as chordata and the organisms which do not have the notochord are treated as non chordata okay now a notochord like structure Notoc notochord is not found. Notochord-like structure is found in their buccal cavity. Remember this thing. A notochord-like structure is found in buccal cavity, and it is called as buccal diverticulum. Again, I am repeating. In hemichordates, a notochord-like structure is found in the buccal cavity, and hence it is called as the buccal diverticulum, or also called as stomochord. From this word stomochord, the hemichordates are also called as stomochordata. So stomochordata word is actually coming from stomochord. What is stomochord? Buccal diverticulum. What is buccal diverticulum? A a notochord-like structure which is actually present in the buccal cavity. So stomochord is nothing. It is the outgrowth of the buccal cavity, and we cannot treat this outgrowth of the buccal cavity as a notochord, and that's why. the notochord is absent in them and the organisms which do not have notochord will be definitely included in non chordates and because of this region hymen kept them in the separate phylum under the non chordata instead of the chordata so it is now clear now that it is included in non chordata as a separate phylum okay now coming to the next one the body is cylindrical their body is cylindrical and the cylindrical body is divided into three parts the anterior part is called as the proboscis the middle part is called as the collar and the posterior part is called as the long trunk so body is divided into how many parts the body is divided into three parts anterior end of the body is called as the proboscis just below the proboscis is the co is the collar and just below the collar is a very long trunk so body is divided into three parts now let's talk about the body cavity body cavity is enterocilous means they are having a two cilium they are having a two cilium here it is written that they are ciliate organisms and the ciliate organisms are the organisms which have the cilium so in them in them a two cilium is present but the two cilium in them is called as a enterocilous type of cilium the two cilium in them is called as the enterocilous type of the cilium or the body cavity and remember this thing that this enterocilous cavity is divided into three parts that is protoceal mesoceal metaceal anterior most part will be called as protoceal the middle part will be called as mesoceal and the last part will be called as metaceal again i am repeating body cavity is enterocilous body cavity is enterocilous and it is divided into three parts proceal mesoceal and metaceal okay and remember this thing that the members of the phylum uh, hemichordata are strictly marine they are not at all found in fresh water or they are not at all terrestrial they are not at all parasitic they are totally marine 
and they are warm like if you see the diagram of any balenoglosses or the secoglosses which are included in this uh, phylum you will see that they are having a warm like body and we know very well that the warm like organisms are always having the bilateral symmetry so they have bilateral symmetry they are triploblastic means they have three germ layers ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm and of course they are silomate already i have said you that they have a two silome which is called as the enterocil now they have organ system level of body organization so remember this thing that they have organ system level of body organization they are silomates they are triploblastic they are bilateral symmetry they are foam like and they are marine animals okay now circulatory system if i talk about the circulatory system then circulatory system is of open type circulatory system is of open type and respiration occur through the help of the gills again i am repeating circulatory system is open type okay respiration is through the gills respiration is through the gills okay and uh, skeletal tissue is absent skeletal tissue once you must remember this point also that the skeletal tissue is absent totally absent they have don't have any sort of the skeletal tissue the skeletal tissue or system is absent excretion occur through single glomerulus this is important question can be asked from here that excretion occur through so the excretion occur through a single glomerulus which is also called as a proboscis gland all right again i am repeating excretion occur through a single glomerulus excretion occur through a single glomerulus which is also called as the proboscis gland and the respiratory pigment in them the respiratory pigment in them is vanadium in them a respiratory pigment is found and that is known as the vanadium sometime a question may be asked that vanadium respiratory pigment is found in so vanadium respiratory pigment is found in the phylum hemichordata members and this heart heart is situated dorsally in them heart is situated dorsally in them and the sexes are separate means they are unisexual creatures sexual dimorphism is found and fertilization is external means it occurs outside the body and reproduction is sexual and reproduction is sexual development is generally seen that development is indirect in them development is indirect in them and the larva is called as a tornaria because you know very well whenever the development is uh, indirect definitely there will be a larva present and this larva is called as the tornaria now the peculiar feature of this tornaria larva is that that tornaria larva is similar to bipinaria larva of echinodermids uh, remember one thing that uh, they are having many similarities with uh, the echinodermids also and these hemichordates have the similarities with the chordates also and that's why they are called as hemichordates are a connecting link between echinodermids and chordates and what are echinodermids they are non chordates so in some books you can see that this thing is written that hemichordates are a connecting link between non chordates and chordates so don't be confused at all echinodermids are also non chordates so either you can call it as hemichordates are a connecting link between non chordates and chordates or you can say exactly that hemichordates are connecting link between echinodermids and the chordates and one more thing remember that this tornaria larva this tornaria larva is very similar to the bipinaria larva of echinodermids not only the bipinaria one thing more i will be liking to tell you that they are also showing the tornaria larva is also showing similarity with the auricularia larva again i am repeating beta that is the tornaria larva is similar to tornaria larva is similar to the bipinaria larva and the auricularia larva of the echinodermids okay their body is with single layered epidermis their body wall their body wall is composed of only the single layered epidermis and their nervous system remember this thing that their nervous system consists of a nerve cord nervous system consists of a nerve cord and nerve net right the nervous system consists of nerve cord and nerve net and it has been said though it is not clearly defined though it is not clearly defined but some scientists believe that the nervous system found in the hemichordates has formed the central nervous system that is the cns of the chordates again i am repeating some scientists believe that it has formed the nervous system of the hemichordates 
has formed the CNS of the coordinates, but it's unclear, not clearly defined. Fine. At last, you can see that this hemi core data, the phylum hemi core data, is divided into two classes. Okay, one is the solitary enteroneust, one is the solitary enteroneust, or you can call it as enteroneusta. Okay, so the enteroneusts are solitary in nature, and the pterobranchs and the pterobranch are colonial in nature. So the big difference between these two classes is that the enteroneust are solitary in nature while the pterobranchs are collinian in nature. Few important examples are also written here that the examples of the anteroneust are the balinoglossus. Balinoglossus is also called as the tongue worm or the acorn worm. They are called as the tongue worm or the acorn worm balinoglossus. The most most common member of this phylum hemicordata. Okay, so remember this thing, don't forget balinoglossus. Secoglossus and protoglossus. Again, I am repeating the best examples of the anteroneust is balinoglossus, secoglossus, and protoglossus. And the best example of the pterobranchs is the rhabdopleura and the cephalodiscus. Rhabdopleura and the cephalodiscus. Okay, and one thing I have already said you that the skeletal tissue is totally absent and they are the connecting link between the echinodermids and the chordates. So, these were the general features of the phylum hemichordata as well as we have discussed the uh, examples also at the last of the video uh, i am providing you in all my videos i am providing you the screenshots so you can maintain the notes so thanks a lot for watching me i will try my level best to produce more and more videos for you thanks a lot